Hey everyone, it's Vic Mage here, and welcome back to If on a Winter's Night for Travelers. Now, last episode, we did this bad boy, our main man, Carlo, our poor, poor affair-ridden man. And now this, I believe, is... Oh shoot, Lady Winterborn? It was like the slow disappearance of Lady Winterborn? I can't remember. But, yeah. My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay, but there's not much left. Okay, no. She even turned away from it. Interesting, okay. No light, it hurts. What's wrong, Lady Winterborn? And why is your husband... These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? Why is your husband, um... Famous? If I close my eyes, I can almost hear... Hear what? What's under the cloth? Did you, like, lose a child or something? Shh, quiet now. Oh, spooky. Did there used to be faces here? Uh, that's a you, you answer, baby girl. How long has it been raining? What day is it? Okay, outside. But it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. Um, okay. Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Back to bed? Do you want to take... Uh, have I not looked at something? A ball of yarn. Oh, it's Lord Sox's ball of yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime, but where is he? Maybe he got caught outside in the rain? It's hard to see anything from here. Now, can we go outside? Okay. This window? Is it the same? No matter what window you're looking at? I can't see anything. Maybe the servants know something? Now, can we go outside? Yeah, we're looking for socks. Our main man. He's probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up, just in case. Um, with the cloth? With this cloth? Okay. <laughs> with something from the arm wall? Maybe? Question mark? If we try hard enough, what was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yeah, I just need a bit more rest. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine, okay? Something's wrong with Miss Lady Winterborn. There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? Oh, what was that? A letter. I'm scared. This is... Very eerie indeed. Something happened, clearly. And she I don't know, she stays in bed all day for some reason. A letter from Lord Gavin Cavendish. What could he possibly want? Sorry for your loss, my most sincere condolences. What? Is this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Okay, so she definitely did lose a baby or something. Did the maid bring this? Where is she? Oh, 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 we're just going. Um, a dusty vase, a wine glass. Someone is sitting outside of our room. Oh, oh, that's probably the way to go. No, I don't want to go this way yet. Please. So she either lost her husband or she lost a child. I, I can't remember. And she's some fading memory, something not quite here. And she's just shut everything away. The housemaid should be here in her chambers. For some reason, she shut everything away. And it's most, what is this? I hear voices. It's most likely her husband? She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. Okay. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. Use the wine glass on the door. Hold it up. Put your, put your ear on the other side. It amplifies the sound. I'm smart. The door itself is probably too thick, but maybe the wall next to it? Yeah. Perfect. Not since the conservatory at incident. What about her laudanum consumption? Has it decreased 
at all? No, but she mustn't have much left. I haven't refilled her decanter in several days. Okay, so that's the maid. And I've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs. Good. That's probably the doctor. And is this cabinet and this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and the lock strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. Needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving. And rumors abound. Oh! The display cabinet in the parlor. She said, oh, How dare they keep the key from me! Um... Are we thinking husband? I should burst into that room right now. But I will deal with that tomorrow. Or are we thinking baby? I think I will have my medicine now. And also... How long do we think it's been? That's my question. Oops. Cracked glass. Do you have anything to say about that? Okay. What's under these cloths? A shadow, just a shadow. They look like statues. Everything is covered. It's too dark. That one doesn't have anything. It's too dark. It feels like it's inside my head. Just making sure she's got nothing new to say. I still have some medicine in my room. I can go downstairs tomorrow. Oh. I thought we were, you know, getting the rest of the medicine right now. But okay. I'm, I'm confused and worried for you, Miss Winterborn. I want to know what happened. Last episode she said her husband was in the papers. I want to know what. He was- oh! What he was doing in the papers? Oh my god. Oh, it's a harp! Oh, we're on drugs. There's cat hair all over the carpet, as per usual. Sigh. Henry protested at first, including Lord Socks in the portrait. But if I am a Winterborn, then so is he. It is so warm outside, I don't need anything else. Oh no. Miss Winterborn, it is not warm outside, it's raining. I didn't really realize a harp sounded like a piano. <laughs> okay. Um, the most wistful of melodies, Monsieur Satie was a true master of melancholy. But right now I'm in the mood for something more cheerful. What is this book? Was this book there before? My favorite bedside book, Prost's à la recherche du temps something. As soon as I read two pages, I start dozing off. As I read two pages. And now she's looking in the mirror and saying, Oh, I look just fine. Some family pictures, these three over here are my favorites. Maman and I in Paris. Sorry, <coughs> Paris. Maman and I in Vienna. April... 26, Mama and I in New York, October 25. I remember I found some great records from my gramophone on these trips. Listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. So, what does laudanum do? Oh, the glass is gone. Do we know? Can, can someone look it up? Mom and Dad and how they hated posing for this. They think painting is out, and that there is nothing as exciting as photography these days. I cannot say I disagree, but it is so lovely to have them here on the walls like old-fashioned aristocrats. Dear Grandpapa Beauvois Beauvoisies, he, is believe he believed in me when no one else did. God, these French names. My little cousins from Amiens, I miss them so much. Do not... I hope Henry won't lock himself up in his study when he gets back. Because of his business trips, we barely get any time together lately. No one come for me. <laughs> for the French names, okay. Classic Jinghua vase from the Ming period. Invaluable and one of the few pieces the family can still afford to keep. Oh, the glasses take back. Beautiful Murano glass is a souvenir from our honeymoon in Venice. Just a personal trifle next to the family's treasures, of course. But very dear to me nonetheless. But you just broke it catalog from the option 
the auction in which the vase was acquitted. You just broke, said Glass, like two minutes ago. An Eos statue? My own personal pantheon, these figures have always been a huge inspiration for me. I just could not bring myself to leave them behind in France when I moved here. The plaque says Eos, goddess of the dawn. If Henry makes it back in time, we could have a picnic in the garden. Nemesine and Apollo. Are we Greek or are we French? Oh, that's my question. Nemesine, goddess of memory and words. We need that right now. Sheesh. Apollo, god of sun and the mu sun and music. Music and the sun. Grandma Winterborn. I knew her in the last years of her life. A remarkable woman. Grandpa Winterborn. I never met him, and for what I've known, all for the better. I reckon he was old-fashioned when it came to crossing class boundaries. So are we not... I I feel dizzy. Please don't fall down the stairs. Why was I going downstairs anyway? I'm not sure now. Was I not going back to my room? We were going outside. It smells of rain. I... where am... Why was I going downstairs anyways? Try again. Okay. Okay, Lady Winterborn. We'll just... We'll go back. Sorry, didn't mean to click on that. We'll go back, girly pop. Put you to bed. Let you relax. See visions of sugar plums. Dancing in your head. I don't know what's wrong. I feel so... Weak. That scared me. Oh. And it's gray again. Is it morning? I can't tell. The barest whisper of a melody. Shh. Okay, so Henry definitely did die. 100%. You should have been here. I'll get changed later. Yes, or tomorrow. I'm just so tired right now. No light. It hurts. It's empty. I'll get more tomorrow from the cabinet in the parlor. And her book isn't here from what I can see. So Henry definitely died. Unless Mr. Socks died. Sorry, Lord Socks. But... Why are we on the train? If my theory's correct, and it's like a murder-suicide train, what happened to Lady Winterborn? Also, trigger warning, just in case. Don't know if it's gonna happen. But just in case. Another one. If these letters keep coming and you keep not wanting me to see them, why do you keep putting them under the door? Or are you trying to like knock some sense into me? Okay. Lord Windsor now? What is this? Deep in, deepest condolences. Again. Con condolences. Good lord. But there's more. I'm aware of the dire situation of the Winterborn family. Okay. Rumors about that precious Ming vase, one of the few pieces not yet sold. Surviving on your fortune alone, I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. This is outrageous. What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Besides, she has the key to the cabinet. So, someone's trying to marry you off for money. Or not marry you off, but like, get married to you so you don't lose money. Did Lord Sox do this? Oh, she can't even remember. Is this the vase he was talking about? Please don't break it. I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as valuable as a whole vase. No. Uh, Lady Winterborn. Th that did cost a lot of money. It's a moldy old book. Please, are you walking on that with bare feet? I hope not. I don't think there's anybody here. The noise would have certainly caught their attention. How am I going to open that cabinet now? I miss Grandpapa. Interesting. Was he in the middle one? I can't remember. This was her parents. I think that was Grandpapa, and this was her cousins. So, please don't fall down the steps. A shadow, just a shadow... On and on until my very bones are wet. A deep, terrifying roar. 
you were always so kind, it's too dark. So she acknowledges some presence, because this was the grandma Winterborn. Oh, we're downstairs now. But not all presence. There used to be flowers here. Like, if this is a portrait of, like, her husband, she slightly acknowledges it versus other portraits where she's like, what's this? You know? Interesting. Books and more books. Here's one and another. The Prophet's Paradise, a treaty of clocks with, without fear of wind and vertigo. Poetry. What good has it ever done? The unbearable jargon of the clockmaker, or... I don't recognize this title. Where did this come from? When did this come from? Interesting. What's over the disc draped cloth? A faint ticking. Why did you cover everything up? Like, everything is covered. Like, this place has been abandoned. There it is, hidden at the back among the glasses. But I don't have the key and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the bloody thing open if I need to. Let's not do that yet. Rest maybe later. I could sink in it. Let's, um, just look around first, because I'm curious. Please, Lady Winterborn. Only ash, this is not the fire I seek. Shreds, something that used to be a painting. Definitely, probably just him. It's silent now, no more voices. Oh. Hmm. Oh god. Yes. This will work. Oh, I'm already on it. Stab it. Stab, stab. Poke, poke. Be careful, though. That is glass. Nice. Ca careful. There you go. Oh. Instantly. Okay. The smell of fresh flowers in the morning is one of life's subtlest pleasures. I've never been too fond of this painting. It is so solemn and joyless. Henry's taste can be so old-fashioned sometimes. Henry's favorite spot, after his study, of course. Perfect spot to read a book by the fire. Cat purring on your lap, the sound of logs crackling. No better way to spend these rainy English autumn afternoons. Are we going to make comments on the books now? There are some interesting books here. Also, I like how her hair and her fit get done up every single time she drinks the laudanum. Far afield a woman cried, I have killed him I loved. And from a jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. What is this? What is this book doing here? Ain't that the question. One of those awfully boring technical books that Henry's dad liked to keep around. Striking as they might look, decorative clocks such as those embedded within busts or statues lack precision and reliability. Such models exhibit an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. This is, of course, unacceptable. Well, of course, unacceptable. Obviously. What's this one? The one that she freaked out about. And so you see this novel so tightly interwoven with sensations, suddenly riven by bottomless chasms as if the claim to portray vital fullness revealed the void beneath. Hmm, I'm not familiar with this author. Italian? Sounds very modern. Interesting. So this is our bust clock. It's a table clock in the shape of a bust, but it needs winding, and the key is missing. Okay. My gramophone! So... Oh boy. This is just gonna make my heart break again. My heart didn't really break for Carlo. I was more like avenging Carlo. I have so many memories attached to all these records. Especially the ones I bought back from my trips abroad with my mom. Okay, interesting. Which one shall I play first? Let's... Three Old Viennese Dances, Parigi Okada, My New York. Let's do this one. I guess. Why not? Look at her sway. <laughs> Cute. What should I play after this? Um, this one. We're not gonna, like, get too into these. This is obviously longer than Carlo's. Such a delicate piece. She's, like, conducting. That's cute. Okay. 
What should I play after this? New York. One of these got to trigger something for you. Oh, we're doing the Charleston. We're dancing. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. All right, we're done. <laughs> But this is not the way it happened. My trips with my mom, I need to remember. Let's go to the foyer. Oh wait, I wanted to look at the... Sounds like the servants are talking in the foyer, but I don't need anything from them right now. And I should not eavesdrop, it is rude. Glass inside glass, to be admired from afar and not touched. What a sad fate. Well, what else is there to do? I don't want to go to the first floor. There's no fire to stir. Um, I looked at the books. You don't want to go to the foyer. You would rather listen to some music. Shall we listen to some music then? Let's do this one, I guess. See if me listening to music actually does anything. Isn't it too dreamy? I don't know if this will trigger anything. But we're just going to listen for a little bit. Let the poor woman live out her dreamy fantasies. Okay, I don't think listening to music does anything. Because I just listened to the Harigi Okara. For a pretty long time. Almost three minutes. What is this? Bong Sang, it's so grating. What on earth was that? What was that? That was weird. The record must be warped. That was it, surely. But I feel strangely lightheaded. I should lay down, maybe. That was weird. I thought it was... I thought something was gonna happen if I listened to, um... One song for a long time. For, like, the entirety of the song. But no. That's on me. I want you to remember... I want you to remember. You smashed this vase. That vase. It feels like it shouldn't be there. And there's something else missing, but I can't remember what. Oh yeah, there are glasses missing. Grandpa Bouvoisi. Can we go to his study? It's weird. I keep having this feeling that Henry's in his study, but I haven't heard his car arrive yet. It must be deja vu. I miss you both. I shall go visit soon. Um, is there anything else to look at? Click on? Probably not. Oh, the harp's covered up. My harp? Who did this? So things are starting to blend. Reality versus fantasy. The shadow, it's, it's wrong. That is funky. I didn't even notice the shadow until you said something. It is slipping through my fingers. It's gone. But maybe I can sleep and dream of tomorrow. There's always music tomorrow. It's slipping away. This face, it... Where are you? So she definitely lost her husband. Oh, 